So here's the thing. I'm a working class musician and creative. I love doing what I do, but it means that I put in a lot of hours into doing it. And to be able to do what I do, it relies on me having quite a bit of money tied up in gear to do my job. Because of that, I also have spent a fair chunk of change on cases and different things to protect said gear. When I travel, even if it's just in my car or if it's on an airplane, I'm relying on those cases keeping my investment safe because at the end of the day, if something were to happen to one of my main instruments or my pedal board or amplifiers or something like that, it might not be immediately that I would be able to replace it because I've put a lot of hard-earned money into that, but I still do have bills that I have to pay. All of that said, I'm going to tell you my story, what happened in April of this year, and why I'll think twice before buying another Pelican case. I'll also add the caveat that this is one person's experience, and I'm fully aware that this has not been everybody's, but it could be yours if you do have something happen to your case. Before I jump into all the things you should consider before you buy a Pelican case, let me tell you my story and what prompted this video. So, here's the back story. In April of this year, I flew to Indianapolis for an event. Now for this event, because of course I was playing, I took a pretty simple fly rig. I had a Pelican case that had my mono small pedal board in it that's about an 18 inch pedal board. And I took one guitar with me, my Sir Classic S Antique, in a Roadrunner case that I talk about in this video. I also had my Mono Creators flyby backpack and my clothes were packed in those cases kind of around where they could. One, to offer additional protection, but two, because I didn't feel like checking two different bags. Now, I had no problems getting to Indianapolis and on one of the flights back, something happened. And when I got back to Birmingham, Alabama, I take my Pelican case off the carousel, I'm in the shuttle, I set the Pelican case down and I see it. There's a roughly 12 inch L-shaped crack along my Pelican case that is all the way through the plastic, compromising the case's dust protection, water protection, etc. Of course, I immediately then open it up. I'm looking at my pedal board. All of the pedals themselves seem fine, maybe a couple of scratches, but no big deal. And some of them came unhooked from Velcro, which could have very well been TSA. They like to pry them off of the dual lock and sometimes unhook cables and all of that. But everything looked to be mostly fine that was inside the case itself. So then I get home, test the pedal board, confirm that everything works fine and that there's no major issues. I had posted about it, just a quick picture, and at this point I'm pretty much just blaming the airline for this. It was clear that they had maybe mishandled the case because I've never seen a Pelican case cracked and definitely not cracked like this. However, upon closer inspection of the case, I see that there's hardly an impact mark and this is the first time I've ever flown with this case so it hasn't been used and abused, but somehow we have a huge crack down the side of it. Now I posted this on Instagram, a lot of my musician, photographer, videographer friends said don't worry about it, Pelican has a great warranty and they'll take care of you. So I fill out Pelican's warranty claim online and the next day they email me back and that's really where this story starts and takes a bit of a turn. So when I filled out the warranty claim, I attached pictures of the case, talked about what happened, and then had to have a $15 hold put on my card. Now, no big deal. Again, I had been reassured by literally dozens of people in my DMs just that day that Pelican was great, their warranty was awesome, and that they would take care of the case. Keep in mind that I also had to go back to the airport, file this with the airline within 24 hours of landing, and again, at this point, I'm blaming the airline. Clearly they mishandled the case and that's the reason that it's broken. So this video goes bigger than point of fault in my case alone. But I feel that out with Pelican. The next day they email me and they tell me that my case is not going to be covered under the warranty. I was kind of bummed because so many people had raved about their warranty, but I also realized that I hadn't read the warranty myself. So I go and I read the warranty and this is what I found. Very clearly, in the first line of Pelican Case's warranty, it says this, and I'm reading it directly because I'm quoting it. Pelican Products Incorporated, Pelican, guarantees its injection molded cases for a lifetime against breakage or defects in workmanship, 
Now, I'm no lawyer, but that or separates those into two unique clauses. The two cases in which they are covered is in a lifetime against breakage or if there is a case of defects against workmanship. So, again, no lawyer, but I read that and after a couple days kind of thinking about it, I decided to email Pelican back again. I said, hey, I'm really bummed to hear you guys aren't covering this. This is what the first line of the warranty reads, so I'm curious as to why my case wouldn't be covered. Again, keeping in mind, I think it's the airline's fault and that the airline should cover it, but this is what Pelican's warranty says, so why aren't they covering it? So then, after about a day, I get this email as a response when I brought up that their warranty said they would cover breakage, but they're not actually going to cover breakage. They said, hello, the breakage or defects in workmanship means at time there's common damage, breakage, in our products, which will then be reviewed and evaluated to ensure it was or was not an issue when being manufactured. I'm going to pause there because to me that's a defect in workmanship, right? Am I wrong? Let me know what you think in the comments. But then they said, I will forward your response to the warranty repair manager to see if there's anything we can do as a one-time courtesy and email you once I receive a response. So at this point, I was like, okay, this seems a little suspicious, but at least they're attempting to do something or saying that they're going to forward it up to see if there is something they can do as a one-time courtesy. I then get an email back the next day saying that they can't do anything about it that they're very sorry for any inconvenience. So then I decide I'm gonna read the warranty in detail. And this is where I think the problem is. And this is their out, if you will. This is how Pelican can, it seems, get out of replacing any case that has been damaged in any way other than something just falling off because it was a manufacturing defect. So here's where Pelican gets out of it. In the first line, again, I'll read it again. It says, Pelican Products Incorporated guarantees its injection molded cases for a lifetime against breakage or defects in workmanship. We've already established how they really only addressed the second of those two clauses, but I digress. Now, about a paragraph down, it says this line, and this is why I think the warranty is misleading at best and dishonest at worst. It says, all warranty claims of any nature are barred if the product has been altered, damaged, or in any way physically changed, or subjected to abuse, misuse, negligence, or accident. Now, a few of those make sense. If you've gone and modified your Pelican case and maybe broken off latches because you didn't want to unlatch that many or something like that, understand why they wouldn't cover it because you've compromised the integrity of the case. However, it also says damaged as the second of these clauses in which they will not cover your case. And if your case hasn't been damaged, then why are you filing a warranty claim? If your case is still functioning as it should, then you're not going to file a warranty claim. And to me, that's why this is very misleading and dishonest. If I'm gonna be spending a premium on Pelican cases, again, keeping in mind that this case brand new is $281, it doesn't have wheels and it's not really that big, then I expect the warranty coverage to be at least what it says or what it would have you think that it is. So the first line to me needs to be reworded. I emailed Pelican saying as such that I think they need to reword their warranty. They told me they forwarded it to management and will let me know if they need anything else from me. Again, I can afford a new case. I'm not very concerned about that. What I am concerned about is someone going out and spending their hard-earned money on a Pelican case thinking that they have a great warranty when this is obviously not the case. But I want to know what you think. Let me know if you've had any positive interactions with their warranty, if you've had something broken and then replaced. Let me know down in the comments below. But I think this warranty is very misleading. Again, I'll have that linked down below as well so you can read it for yourself and I want to know what you think. Sorry if this seemed a little negative. I think this is really important because I want to put my money into a company that I can trust. And as of right now, I don't really feel like Pelican is that company. So like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share with others that you think would find this information helpful. And until the next video, I'll have a couple of my favorites linked over here for you to watch. But that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.